What is good everybody? Next Era back with some World of Warships content. As always, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe. There is always new content coming and we are focused on a destroyer gameplay. Now this is not to say that we don't play other ships or we're not aware of the mechanics of other ships, but this is a resource for how the game impacts destroyers as well as how we can better you know move our our skills forward how do we how do we um keep pushing the boundaries and getting better and better so in the background we've got a very cool game coming up so i figure a little background music right so this update coming out on monday is going to be awesome it's it's going to be awesome there there are some really cool things coming for destroyers there are some really cool things coming for people in general so one thing that i'll cover first and foremost is maps look at this we're gonna have some really cool maps coming uh these three maps are going to be for the legendary tier and tier seven tier six and tier five may be up tiered into it, depending on their, you know, the the timing of that particular queue for the match, you know, like the matchmaking piece. But this is primarily for higher tier ships. And this is gonna be dope. These these matches are going to be fun. They just look like cool maps. Now for the other other types of ships as well we still have the american cruiser line has been completed for the light cruisers the early access is now not early you are ready for the party so so you can uh, you can park your car the um tier seven level um light cruiser the um cleveland is going to be available right now for you to use your XP to purchase and just buy because you already grounded out the, uh, the series so good for you we also have the Bureau is going to be bringing out some new ships some new projects it's going to be awesome like absolutely positively awesome we've got the legendary birthday bureau project which will be a series of segments that are going to cover a number of the events over the course of this year which means you're going to be able to get event crates that just weren't going to spawn anytime soon i mean we're going to get Hall halloween crates christmas crates black friday crates and the things that come with these crates. Namely, people like the Azure Lane group, right? Remember, like we have the Azure Lane, we had um, the Halloween um, commanders like Abe and stuff that will impact a number of different play styles. So it's going to be completely awesome in a second. It's going to just be awesome. Now in terms of this campaign the campaign is going to be a five week campaign that is going to end with the tier seven german battleship the odin which is going to be quite a serious competitor it will be like the sean horse in terms of its radar and its ability to launch torpedoes as well as having great armor and weaponry. The boat itself is going to come with a number of great things that you're going to be able to get as you go through the campaign. These are the things that you're going to get that will specifically help destroyers. So we're going to, I mean, everybody gets help from the promotion artists and stuff, but you guys need to know, like, how much should you, you know, really grind out towards a battleship if you're mainly trying to focus on destroyers? So these are the things that you're going to get 
from the campaign that are going to be kind of cool. Remember, without Admiralty is on the left. With Admiralty is what you would add to whatever's on the left to get you like your totals. Now, you'll also definitely get Commander Abonio, which is the French version of a Tanaka or a Von Spey. He is the torpedo focused commander and he's 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 great. He's great. Combined with the uh, French destroyers, he's a great captain. Now we covered a number of those guys and the other things that are gonna be cool, but now let's look at what exactly it means for the French commander to be here. What's he gonna be on? We got these French destroyers coming out, and these destroyers are all going to be fast and furious playstyle. They're very fast ships. They're going to have great guns, but they do not have smoke. No smoke. No smoke, which for many players is already a big no-no. However, it's a it's a, a high risk high reward playstyle, and so if you try them out, uh, don't be afraid to die because you're gonna die a bunch. But don't worry about it. Just keep practicing. Now the tier two and the tier seven from this line are not gonna be available this update. They said it will be available for research in the next update, which means. Either you'll be able to, like, that is, that's interesting wording. I don't know what that means specifically. But it's fine. Either way, we'll see those ships. I'm, I'm going to unlock this line completely. I'm, I'm going to have some fun with this. Now, the other thing that is going to be quite cool is for this month, the only premium ship, they're gonna have in the store well one of the main ships they're gonna focus on is the gallant which is a tier 5 British destroyer and that boat should also be quite fun to play most of the British ships are quite versatile so it'll be quite an addition it's gonna be cool to see all these new ships coming in we also are going to have the ability for the first time to purchase the commanders like the um, Azure Lane commanders and some of these other uh, event commandos and crates directly from the store so between July when was it it was between July ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. lost track of that one well, it's, oh, that's why, because it's starting next week. Silly rabbit. So each week of the update, we're going to have special sale event items, including the Halloween commanders and crates, Azure Lane uh, commanders and camouflages, well, the cam commander containers, and uh, Black Friday ships and containers. So um, moreover, they're also going to have the first time you're going to be able to actually buy uh, well have a discount on global XP so the elite XP normally converts at a rate of 25 per doubloon this is going to be the first time we're going to have 35 per doubloon if you choose to boost your global that way that's going to be from August 12th to the 17th so also with the premium ships, uh, each of the them thematic sales will also have um, a mission chain that will allow you to get some themed content for free. So it's it's going to be awesome. It's it's really going to be awesome for uh, destroyers this this go around. Now, one thing that may very directly impact us is they are adding spotter planes there are going to be spotter planes for battle so battleships will be able to alternate having catapult fighters and have 
spider spotter planes instead <clears throat> the spotter planes are going to allow them to have better accuracy while the plane is in the air 10 percent but the most the most impact that has on us though as destroyer players is both the spotter plane and the catapult planes are able to spot our torpedoes so this is just another you know method that they'll be able to spot torpedoes so one thing that i would love for them to add into the game would be for there to be a detection by air for torpedoes the same way they have detection by sea because it's just good information to have and that would be completely awesome now if you haven't by now hit that button but you watch this far we really 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 appreciate you guys by doing that you help advance the channel and you let YouTube know that we're on the right path and I definitely appreciate that there was a lot of work that goes into these things to try to make sure you guys get good information and um, as always there's more content to come and this a cat will be my cracking thanks for watching appreciate you guys and always more content to come